type today we're looking at one of the new features in the SQL Pro which is called the e-claims alright so this means now staff can actually submit their claims through the SQL Pro app before we can actually use this make sure that you have already downloaded the app from the iOS app store or Google Play store alright so before we can actually even begin using the app we have to make sure that we have already created all the different client claims in the system alright so to do that what happens is we come to payroll here we come to maintenance then we come to maintain claims alright okay so let's say example now I want to create one claim called entertainment so we just press new here we type entertainment and of course we can even set a yearly or monthly limit this will be the standard limit however on the individual staff level you can actually preset a different amount for each staff right so let's say example now I want to put a monthly limit of 500 ringgit all right so once we're done we press save okay so before all these different kind of claims can be appearing on your staff handphone we need to come here to the cloud and then we press sync cloud and then we press sync now all right okay once this is done of course we have to then revert to the handphone okay so click here okay so in the phone app here you can actually select here you want to submit a claim for submit claim say what's the different expenses Say my entertainment now is 303.90. Done. We can say we will always have to put a description here. Entertainment with client. Alright. Okay. So there's a function here where we can actually attach the receipt, but of course it's not a compulsory field. So let's say today I want to attach this receipt. We press upload. We select camera. So let's say this is a claim. So once done, we just press submit and then we are done. Alright, so let's say no and then we will close the app here. Okay, so back into the payroll system, all we just need to do is we press sync now here. Then we can come here, you can see there's an entertainment redax and then of course there's an attachment link for you. So we can press approve and then press sync now it will be sent to the staff all right let's see how it's going to affect your payroll so let's say i do a new payroll now we said we do for the month of june we select just tax huh? press process here they can say okay you want to approve this okay and open the pay slip we can actually see that the total claims is 503.90 when we click claims here you can see order breakdown all the different claims all right okay let's say we close this one and then we want to just remove this payroll first let's say here delete okay so let's say example uh when you even delete a payroll like that you can actually still see the uh, all the claims that have already been submitted under open pending payroll here you can see we got claims three transaction you can see that okay this one has an attachment you can click on it and of course you can see the receipt itself all right so that's it for today um, we hope that you actually find this helpful thank you